I'm going to show you the easy way to use the TubeBuddy keyword research tool to get more views on your YouTube channel. TubeBuddy is the best keyword research tool that you can use to get started with YouTube SEO to boost the views on your videos. I'm going to show you how to find the best title and tags for your YouTube videos using the amazing tools that TubeBuddy has to offer. Our goal in keyword research is to find long tail keywords or key phrases that are unique and specific for your videos. By using a long tail keyword as our main target for every single video, we reduce the competition and increase the chance of you ranking higher in YouTube search for that specific keyword phrase. Now we need to make sure that we target a keyword that people are actually searching inside of YouTube. There's no point in finding a keyword with low competition that no one's actually searching for on YouTube. We need to be practical here. We're not a polar bear in Hawaii. This is where the search volume metric in TubeBuddy comes in handy. It lets you know exactly how many people are actually searching for the specific phrase that you want to target. We need to check that people are actually interested in the long tail keyword that we want to target for our video. We also need to check that the competition is low enough to give you the best chance to rank high inside of YouTube search. Think of it like this, you want to have lots of options, but you don't want to compete with too many people for those options that are available. This is the sweet spot where you're going to see the best result, balancing the search volume with the competition. Let's show you an example from our channel. Instead of targeting a short keyword, we chose to target a long tail keyword, how to verify your YouTube channel. This keyword has good search volume and low competition. That's how we've managed to get over half a million views on our video. You can also get great results like this if you focus on your sweet spot, using TubeBuddy to check the search volume and the competition for your specific keyword. Now let me show you how to use TubeBuddy on your phone. Okay, so let's jump into the TubeBuddy app. If you don't have this, we'll have a link for you in the description down below to get access to a new TubeBuddy account and to get access to the app. First thing you need to do once you're inside the TubeBuddy app, hit the hamburger icon in the bottom right, and then we're going to select Tag Explorer. Then we can enter the top in the search. So our search term is gonna be how to catch a fish and hit search. Now what TubeBuddy is going to do, it's going to give you the search volume for the term, the competition and the overall score. Now the competition is the most important part of these three scores. You can see how to catch fish is average at 50 and the search volume is average at 59. Now if we get more specific and change it to the type of fish we want to catch, which is a bass, and hit that search again, you'll see our competition goes up because it's a short search query that is about how to catch a bass. So the competition is very high at 94, with the search volume a bit lower. Overall score has gone to very bad. So how do we reduce that competition? Let's get even more unique and specific. Let's say how to catch a bass with a worm. Now you can see the competition has gone down to 49. Search volume is still very high. Overall, this is a great keyword but I wanna give you the best possible chance for you to rank at the top of YouTube search. So let's get that competition down even more. How can we make it more specific? We can say what type of worm. So it could be a live worm, but we're actually going to search with a plastic worm. Competition comes down to 47, so it's slight, but there is an advantage. Less people searching for plastic worms, which is interesting. So it would be worth checking out live worms and seeing if the search volume is higher. We're going to stick with the plastic worms and we're going to now use the location to get even more specific. So we're going to talk about in a dam. So in South Africa, we fish in dams mostly and that's where all our bass are. Now look at that competition. Our competition has gone down to very low, it's an eight, which is pretty, pretty good. Now we have a really, really good chance of ranking for this specific term. There's one more way we can get more specific is put in our actual location. So the country we're in is South Africa. So let's put it a dam in South Africa. Now you can see how long our keyword is 
and the competition has gone down to zero. This is amazing. This is where you really want to start because it's gonna give you the best chance of being number one inside of YouTube search and getting you those views. I know the search volume is low, but the competition is really, really low, and that's what we want to focus on. Now that's how we do keyword research on our phone inside of TubeBuddy. If you have any questions or queries about using the TubeBuddy app, or how to find something specific inside the TubeBuddy app, then let us know in the comments section down below and we'll be happy to help you out. Now that you've mastered how to use TubeBuddy on your phone, we're gonna jump onto my laptop and let me walk you through how to use TubeBuddy on your laptop or your computer. The first thing we need to do is head over to the top right and open up our TubeBuddy tool. Now, if you don't have your TubeBuddy tool installed on YouTube, you can watch our video here on how to install TubeBuddy on your computer and get the Chrome plugin so that you can get access to this Keyword Explorer tool. So let's select that Keyword Explorer tool and let's start looking at an example. We want to make a video about how to catch a fish. So type in the keyword that you want to search for and click explore. It's now gonna open up and show you the search volume that we've spoken about and the competition for that keyword. Now we can see the search volume is good, but the competition is poor. And this competition is the most important to make sure that we're reducing the competition so that you have a better chance of ranking for that YouTube search query. So you'll see the optimization strength says here, excellent, but we want to focus on that competition. So how can we take this short keyword and make it a long tail keyword that's way more specific? So let's be more specific about what type of fish do we want to catch? We want to catch a bass and let's type that in and have a look at how the search volume and the competition change. So the search volume has come down a bit and the competition is still high. So how can we go even further, even deeper? TubeBuddy gives you a whole lot of suggestions on the right hand side here and you can have a look through these suggestions. Now we quite like this one, how to catch a bass with worms. So what type of bait are we gonna to use to catch the fish? Now you can see how we are getting way more specific and this is really where you can get value from the TubeBuddy Keyword Explorer, is helping you find related searches and go even deeper with a long tail keyword. Now you can see the search volume here is excellent, but the competition is still high. So how can we get more specific and more unique? Let's just change it to with a plastic worm. So, so they're live worms and plastic worms. We want to try the keyword with a plastic worm. Now the search volume has come down, it is fair, and the competition is still high. So how can we get even more specific? How to catch a bass with a plastic worm? Now where would we be fishing? Let's say in a dam. Now you can see how long our keyword phrase is getting and that's gonna help us reduce the competition. Now you can see, look at that, our competition has come down to good. And you actually want to get it to almost the green. Search volume is down a bit, but you can see the optimization strength is still excellent. And there are 71,000 videos within YouTube search for this specific query, which means we have a good chance of ranking inside of YouTube search because the competition for this specific query is lower. We could go even more specific if you wanna put your country, so where you're gonna be fishing, we're gonna be fishing in South Africa, and let's have a look if that reduces the competition even further. So you can see how long our tail is now, how to catch a bass with a plastic worm in a dam in South Africa. Now you can't get more specific than that, and have a look at that. We've got our competition down to green, which is excellent, and the search volume has come down to poor, but there is still search volume for this query. This is gonna give us our best chance to rank for this specific keyword. If you have any questions or queries about using TubeBuddy as a keyword research tool, 
for your YouTube videos, then let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be happy to help you out. If you want me to create a specific video on one of the tools inside of TubeBuddy, then let me know down below what videos you'd like me to create for you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new here, consider subscribing because we create new videos every single week, helping you start and grow on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.